to lose off lane as Phoenix. It's pretty hard to win mid against them as well. I wouldn't put him mid. I think it's a waste. If they were right clicking, like if you can't kill us, they creeps. Yeah, people were like, you can't put him mid because he doesn't have base armor. Yeah, but you can't hit the hero either. Yeah, exactly. It's like you just you throw bird poop on him, and they're like, what do I do? Ten seconds remaining. Bird poop. Is that yeah. what we're going with? It's fiery. Bird. That's what I call it. Remaining. Fiery chili. <laughs> I have to like, as soon as I see those things like start to circle around the hero, I just go Reserve into full time. like Barry Sanders mode. I'm just like, ha ha ha, chook chook, and I like still get hit by all of them. Of course. And then I'm like, ah. Sometimes you juke yourself as well. That's the worst. Oh, and three, combined win rate. Yep. So wow. wait. Centaur Disruptor has a zero percent win rate. <laughs> Apparently. Ember Centaur has a zero percent win rate. Ember Disruptor has a 0%. How is that right? even possible? Mm. I'm gonna check. So anytime any of these heroes are picked together, they I lose. Why are we casting this? I'm gonna check again. Team I feel like these may be pick. incorrect. I, I'm gonna check because well, now they're this not is Dragon very Knight. interesting. That's true, they're not Dragon Knight. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so it's <clears throat> Ember. I can always double check. Yeah. So we can go over the teams really quick so far. I mean, we talked about the Invoker. Uh, not so much the Bane. I think Bane is one of those heroes that's just nice to have against Ember. Because if you get a Nightmare off and no one around Liquid is there to like remove it, Ten you can just follow up with a Fiend's Grip and it's a shared kill. Just because Ember stack gains so meh. Um, I'm Five thinking because of the fact remaining. that they went Nature's Prophet, they might be leaning towards Exhort Invoker. Plus, if TC is running an Ember mid, I think Exhort matches up time. better against Ember Spirit than Quas Yeah. Even though EMP is good, I think that right-clicking really hard is better against Ember because you can just, you know, push him out of the lane. But um, other than that, I mean, Disruptor is really solid against Bane. We saw that back in, like, 6.79, maybe even 6.78. People picked it a lot just to stop, like, Fiend scripts and things like that. So I think both teams have... Um, Pretty decent three lineup so far, but I think that Team Liquid obviously have the superior fighting potential. The combined is actually 0 and 3. Yeah, that's correct. It's really 0 and 3. Yeah, so there's no way they can win apparently. But I, I want to see like individually because the combinations. I, it surprises me that Centaur and Disruptor <coughs> never won a game. That that just can't happen. The other thing that Team no, Doggy yeah, that part is wrong. I don't know what happened. Has a making for is if they pick up AA as their secondary support. They have really good lane uh, zoner against Centaur with Chilling Touch. And they also have this like global thing going on. So yeah. if they want to go that way, it's definitely viable. Wasn't Dog the team who picked like the global fighting pushing lineup? Wasn't no, that, that was them? VP. VP. Oh, it was yeah. VP, okay. With the skeleton game. I really yeah. liked that. It was awesome. When they that did was it. actually the best draft I've seen in Dream League. I don't think, I think it was the most innovative. The database is very binary today. <laughs> I yeah. just... It's 100% win rate, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm severely doubting. So team, so team Liquid just cannot win. <laughs> it's not looking great. Okay, I'm just going to try something. I mean, I know this is not 100%. It's, yeah. And it's, it just doesn't not, want to But it's it's decide. adding up to 103%. Yeah, that doesn't make any so sense. So I think there's some, some issues here. No, no, no. The number below the portrait. Yeah, it just doesn't decide. So I'm going to try win something rate. else. Like individual oh, win rate. Oh, individual it's win rate. Yeah, something's wrong. No, okay, seconds. yeah. It should be 100%. I think, they, I think it's trying to tell us something that Team Dog probably are going <laughs> to win this five game. Seconds <laughs> remaining. Maybe your program is Skynet and it's evolving. Maybe I it know. Okay, okay, okay. Do like, you, nothing changed from yesterday to today. Do it's CM versus Venge or something. Well, I needed heroes that are picked. AA, AA versus, AA versus Disruptor, right? Pick Sun King. Keep it fresh. Oh, okay. Sun King versus AA. I feel like this is going to go if, bad. If, if AA is 100%, it's just GG, really. Oh. Yep. Okay. GG. It's broken. It's broken. Ten Damn. Yeah, but at least Team Liquid got that one in yeah, their exactly. favor. <laughs> one out of like seven. It's five like dividing by zero. I think the game just remaining. broke. See what happens with that later. Reserve time. So yeah, they have this global thing going on now with yeah. Nature's yeah, Profit. Dire good. Team so what do you round this out with then? Is it a Nature's Profit offlane, Nature's Profit jungle? Do you go greedy? I think you can't really go that greedy against the Centaur offlane. I Zeus. mean, I think if you pick up Spectre for a safe lane, you could go that way. Do the Bane AA Spectre try. You could pick up uh, Skeleton King or Wraith King Ten seconds yeah, and have remaining. that there as well. I mean, there's just so many options. I, th I like the Wraith King better just Five because they don't have a frontline hero really. And I'm not saying you necessarily need that with the lineup like Team Dog have, because you have ways Reserve of holding time. people at range. Like you can cold snap, you can have um, Bane like disable quite well. Sprout still, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You know, it buys you at least a second, even if somebody has a Quelling Blade or a Tango. But I would like to see a hero that has 
another disable that's not just Bane. Yeah, I mean, uh, Team Liquid takes out Spectre, so it seems like they're afraid remaining. of that. And uh, Rave King, Team as PPD Liquid's call it, is really good pick. against the one cycle hero. Yeah. Sand King, Disruptor, Centaur, Ember. Oh, aside from the Ember, all three of those are quite one cycle, right? You jump in, you dump yeah. your spells, and you're pretty much done. I know, Centaur spells are quite low cooldown. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, well, I think what he means is like kinetic field, or excuse me, uh, static storm and epicenter, epicenter. are kind of like the you go and you deal the damage, you should win the fight yeah, by the yeah. time those ultimates are done. So, Ten seconds yeah, I, I definitely agree. I think uh, Skeleton King would be nice, but it's also a Wraith King, Five I guess seconds now. Remaining. But you also have to remember, it's going to be a center offlane, most likely, and... I guess Bane, time. I think with Chill and Touch, could, yeah. yeah, they could actually they kill that. Can. They definitely can. Ten it's a little bit awkward remaining. when you have Bane, and then a kind of more physical dependent. Five seconds remaining. Yeah. I, I guess you just Nightmare into uh, Hellfire Blast, if it's so called that. It's going to be Doom coming Dyer out from Team, team Liquid, so I think this is more for the Rave, uh, Rave King, because he doesn't care about Doom either, right? Yeah, there you go. Yep. Wraith King. Right. So, I, people can't see it. Um, Oh, it's still skeleton bear. Yeah, yeah, and it updates slower. Like when it, it in game, it takes like two seconds or so for it to. I like how go through on the. I I, I have to point out that we were talking like yeah, Wraith King makes sense. Wraith King, Wraith King, and it was Wraith King, and I was listening at the Swedish cast. I'm like, oh, Wraith King, what a surprise! Yeah, well, what I mean, you... what are you saying? What are you trying to say? Well, Font yeah. is playing it. Oh yeah, because MSS is playing Invoker. Okay, so looks like uh, PyCat's playing. Nature's Prophet. Okay. This oh. is exactly the VP. Dr no, no, no. VP had a Nyx. Sand King instead of Bane. Wasn't it a Nyx? No, it was a Sand King, oh, yeah, yeah. AA, Ten and then Rave King remaining. for the tri lane. They had um, Invoker mid and Prophet off lane, so it's actually as Five close as it gets. Remaining. Is Liquid gonna jungle the Sand King? Uh, I mean, they can. Can. I think Sand King is actually like one of the better supports now because the more people figure out a patch, basically what happens is you start to play greedier and greedier until you battle. can't possibly play any more greedy. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll just lose the game. I think that's so. how actually Alliance won TI. Yeah, they were yeah. so greedy with their stack. They literally had profit just stacking five cams at once. How, how do you even do that? Farm three heroes, win game. So I think Sand King in that sense is really strong just because he adds a guaranteed disable, and he's a greedy hero now because you can actually sandstorm jungle. So you still get a decent amount out of a safe lane, even if you're not necessarily able to roam, which is the problem that Sand King always had before, because his burrow strike is, what, 350 range at level one? It's pretty meh, right? So. Look at the hood. Yeah, it's it's not that great, yeah. This is actually yeah. very interesting. Denoy hood. Aggressive trial lane. The one yesterday, it's a night hunt. And then people can't hear me, so you have to. I like this one better. 30 seconds to battle. Why did they turn you off, Bruno? Because I don't talk do to you. Do you want me to turn you on, buddy? <laughs> ah. you. Whoa! Okay, let's not. Let's, let's keep it PG 13. But, Isn't that, uh, you're allowed to set up in PG 13. Huh? Yeah. You can yeah, even I know. Say, you can even say PG 13. Once. Yeah, I know. It's. it's <laughs> Alright, we, we got our. Our F out of the way. Now I can't say it. Thanks, man. I got my summer. Yeah, you took the opportunity away from me. I know, I, I was saying it because I was not begins. on the mic. But now okay. on the mic, so damn. You can't say it anymore. I keep, I keep you guys clean. Pretty offensive dry line. Like, it's pretty scary. Like, yeah. Oh, oh. A chilling touch. Oh, okay, Bane. somebody's gonna get first blood, right? Yep. Misery just picked up an invis oh, rune. Oh, man. We're they could even kill TC quite easily. I yeah, think that's the hero you go for, to be honest. He's paper, look. He is actually paper. Well, I mean, he's fire, but... No, he's... He's he's paper. He's paper. He's, like, actually paper. Everyone in Dota is actually made out of little paper models. Paper mache? Yeah. Nice. I like that. Yeah, we'll see if they want to <laughs> do that. Oh, he's even leeching the EXP. Yeah, I like, like that. Guy. Like... Now, see, if he was totally next level, he would have noticed that that Ursa didn't give him full EXP. It turned... Oh, he did. Oh, he, he pinged it. it. He, he pinged, pinged it. it. There's somebody nearby. And then the alert goes to the bottom lane. So TC should never die now. Stop ping. Yeah, he's... They're fucking... Oh, that ward spotted out misery. That's yeah. their own ward. His invis wore off anyway. Oh, and now, hey, look, there's a range creep. And then he's like, oh, there's a ward. I'm panicking. It's nice, a... just hit that range creep. Bane doesn't look like the kind of guy that panic. He is panic. Yeah, exactly. Like, he makes people panic. So, 
Exert Invoker against Doom. Gotta favor the Invoker here, I think, for obvious reasons. Yep. Doom having really, really bad base armor and not a whole heck of a lot of lane presence. I think that MSS is gonna be having a great time mid, so Dog have that going for them. Uh, farming safe lane Ember is not necessarily bad in my opinion, but in this particular matchup, how does he walk to the creep wave? No, His supports he... are really too uh -oh. low damage. So Nightmare on TC, here comes the chilling touch, the stun coming through as well. They're trying to spread out to make sure the Burrow doesn't hit more than one person, and the Burrow is only going to hit on Fata. The sun strike came as well, but unfortunately they don't quite do enough damage to get the kill. And TC actually skilled uh, Slight of Fist at level 1 to try to disjoint some of the damage there. Yeah. I mean, they don't get the kill, but if you're Team Dog, you're completely fine with that. It's, you know, it's just one cycle of spell. They're going to try it again. I'm surprised that TC actually did not get Flame Shield here. Flame Guard. Well, uh, he he skilled that because during the fight... Oh, you mean like a level 2. A level 2 I because, I, you know, it's only 50 damage. But yeah, it's 50 damage. I think at, at this particular point, there's no real reason to do it. Because even if you skill Flame Guard, Chilling Touch is going to remove it like immediately. Yeah, it's 50 damage yeah. and Chilling Touch. And having Fire Chains is the only skill that you have right now at this low level that's going to allow you to get kills. So I think it's fine. Okay. All right, then. Top lane, it's going to be a fairly farming oriented lane. I don't think we'll see any action here. Uh, maybe a level 6 Boba's going to get a kill, but aside from that... Well, Boba does a lot of damage. If Pyke gets cut out... I'm surprised that Pyke even trying to harass. Like, just just give it up, man. Yeah, return is... It's not great. I mean, it's great, but it's not great for Pyke. <laughs> it's great. I don't like he's farming that bad, though. He's losing the lane, but I think in terms of how the heroes transition, it's okay if Sam is a little bit behind in lane because he can just teleport around the map, make up his farm that way, try to gank other places, whereas Sam pretty much needs six, yeah. right? Otherwise, he's not going to be able to really contribute anything to his team. And Centaur counter gank's not that strong until you have a blink anyway. So I think, honestly, it's fine if Dog lose, uh, lose this lane. He should get blink pretty quick with this kind of farm, though. He's like the highest farmer in the game. Yeah. So one thing I want to point out that TC is doing a very excellent job of, if you ever find yourself struggling against a very potent lane uh, on the other side, basically you just keep drawing creep aggro as hard as you can. And he was basically able to drag at least one or two creeps. You're not going to get a ton of farm from that, but you're going to get some farm. And that's what he has been doing. Uh, and he can't go in the lane because if he ever is in the creeps, he just straight up dies. They Pretty single much, yeah. pulled as well. You think of that, like instead of pulling through, they couldn't actually do it because of where Misery and uh, Pass were standing. I think if you're going for the uh, double pull, like Bane is mm. one of the few supports in the game that has such a long stun duration. He allows the rest of the, he the trial heroes to go through. And I think they just want to try to kill, honestly. Like when you single pull in a game like this and you're like close to level 3 on your Ember, you could potentially go for a kill just because the extra creep damage might be enough to secure you something. But it's still a bit optimistic to think that that kind of thing would work. But Misery is like checking the bottom rune right now. Unfortunately, uh, Liquid don't have vision of this and they don't know where the Bane is 100%. So Haste. it's it's really hard to say. Yeah, are they going to go mid maybe? It's, it's going to be hard to actually get that kill. Doom doesn't... Well, he does have that one armor. There is no cold snap, uh -oh. though. He doesn't need the cold snap. He's he, taking he a nap. He wants it, though. Sunstrike. Oh, what? No, he didn't, no, he he didn't sunstrike. sunstrike. No, it's fine. He's still dead. Yeah. Oh, didn't even need to do it. Misery, get sunstrike. me them points. What? What are they doing here? Maybe in sunstrike. They're going to engage. There's the Siri Chains. Boss taking quite a few hits. Way too is going to be under fire as well. He's going to get stunned. Cold feet will proc. And they're going to be able to get a return kill, even in the 3v2. So, first blood goes the way of Team Dog. They still get a support trade on bottom. A one for one trade. So, and Honestly, Fata got the kill as well. Yeah, Fata got the kill, so I'd say Dog came out way ahead. Yeah, they did, but I think the bot lane being so hammered down and able to get at least something going is, is a decent trade for them as well. So Team Liquid obviously not happy with the deficit, but can't really ask for much else. Uh, looks like Wait, Fata's... He's, he's skilled. He didn't learn stuff. Yep, oh, Sunstrike's gonna come through, and they're gonna... Well, Chain's gonna be there. The initial big play here on the top lane from PyCat. Really nice coordination there. I guess he had been level 6 for a little while, because he's yeah. about halfway to 7, but just really nice saying, okay, yeah, I'm going to throw out the stun, Radiance sun strike, ulti, really bad stat gain, no flame guard ember, just dies. Yeah. Well said, Andy. I mean, that's that's really what the hero does. He will just die if he gets stunned. It's really a pain, at, at least before 6. I think that's why we don't see a whole lot of safe lane farming embers. Like, even in unfavorable matchups, it's okay to put Ember mid because you know that he's going to get 6, and he becomes that hero who's like, okay, he's impossible to gank. 
Yeah. And he's very, very hard to hold down because of the fact that he can just go to his fire remnants whenever you try to do something in a fight. It's not just about being ungankable, it's about not being able to be focused in engagements. Mm -hmm. But when you put him in a tri lane, it delays that six pretty long. But they're going to pop Stampede here. They're going to try to dive on a Pycat. Burrow Strike's there. Teleport Reaction coming in. It's going to be paused. But they're not going to be able to save Pycat. Bulba's taking some tower shots, but unfortunately... Uh, he's grand. Yeah, he's he's not going to go down. Team Dog look like they're going to be able to spot out somebody bottom as well. They're going to try to make that die. Fata's going to come Dyer's in. How far Blast? They're going to go right on here on Lake Away to the Brain Sap. Couple more right clicks. Just one needed. Fata's going to have his uh, Midas finish. And so will MSS on the mid lane. So early game start from Team Dog. Someone expected, I suppose. But uh, the dangerous thing is that Team Dog has this global lineup that is going to ramp up very, very quickly. I got to hand it to Koikfa, though. Like, we were talking about how two of the lanes from Dog were going to win. He's still got 33 CS. Even though he's died, He's still holding his own in terms of net worth, and MSS is going to be spotted out in the woods just casually Midas's a centaur. Here comes Pycat, and way too, or excuse me, Demon is just going to um, scuttle away. Demon is just, uh, just behind enemy lines, man. Yeah, that's fine. I think I called him way too before as well. It's just because he's not actually using his tag. He's called Pegasus, isn't he? Yeah. Pegasus. Like the wind, uh, and he's also going to be dead. It's a horse. Yep. Yeah, it's he's not actually bear. Do they have a Sunstrike? It's off cooldown. Oh Ooh, man, he's so yeah. wrong. Yeah. So secure. dead. The care raft. And with that rat, you can actually farm the map and say, ah, oh, it was for a kill. It's cool, guys. Well, he actually did use it for the kill. I love that raft because he actually targeted the hero. Yeah, that's what I mean. Instead of doing it from yeah. across the map. Yeah, he targeted on the hero, so he gets the map farm. What a greed lord, man. But I think the fact that there's two insanely early Midas on Team Dog, and plus they have split push potential, which I guess Liquid kind of do, but not to the same extent. So I'm kind of worried that Liquid are maybe giving away a little bit too much during the early phases. They're really going to need Sam to uh, kind of deliver in mid-game, get a Blink Dagger and start helping out the other lanes, because right now TC is being held down uh, pretty effectively. He's only a little bit higher net worth right now than the Bane on Team Dog. The problem is with relying on Centaur to make a comeback like that is, yeah, sure, maybe he's gonna go around and try to pick off a Prophet, but you're gonna be facing against Sunstrike, Prophet, or Ice Blast. Like, there's just so many spells that if you ever misstep once, you're just straight up dead, no matter if you're Centaur or not. So, I think uh, Boba, yeah, I agree that he is gonna be uh, taking the full, I guess, the, the brunt of what his Radiant team needs him to do, tower. but I, I don't think attack. he could actually do it. Attack. His hero just... Too suicidal. I don't know, I think maybe. Because if you look at Team Dog, the only hero that can really live through a blink initiation from a centaur and any kind of follow-up is basically Fata, and that's because he comes Radiant's back to life after he dies yeah. the first time. Yeah. So it's not like Liquid's damage is non-existent, and plus they have a Doom on top of that. So if they get like a Doom off on MSS, and they manage to pick off like a support and they coordinate their initiation Dyer's well, I think they can very easily take fights. My concern is that they might be able to take fights, but their tower pushing potential isn't going to be that great until Quakefa gets like a wolf creep or something like that. Because right now he's got a wild ring ripper, so he's just got the plus armor. He doesn't have um, he doesn't have damage, so he's it's going to be a while. Go for a blink or a mechanism in this game on Doom. I think mech wouldn't be a terrible choice, but against AA, it's kind of optimistic thinking that you can just have a mech and bot lane. Actually, have it be useful. Initiation's going to come through. TC forced to blow his fire fire chain. Got me excited there. I was like, ah! ah I saw a stun, man. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting everything else to come through. There's no KS Raft there. Pass has ulti as well. Pretty big. Just hiding in the jungle. And MSS Dyer's smells something, man. He knows. He knows. And he's gonna be dead. He doesn't have any levels of work, so we can't go. Stampede, Sun's gonna be right there. Burrow Strike gonna fall through. There's, where's the burst damage? All right, there you go. They're gonna get the kill, but here comes the Wrath. Here comes the Ice Blast, and this is exactly what you mean. You have to go deep for this. Pegasus is dead, and Misery, I think he's gonna be fine. The Sprout's gonna be dead. Ooh, Boba comes in. He's gonna ensure the kill. TP out's not gonna be there. Meanwhile, Koifa has a Invis and a double damage. He will be fine. Pycat's cleaning up all these kills, though. Like, if they keep giving it to him, an early profit, like, if he gets a really good start, he can... I mean, that wasn't so bad, because I think Koifo was there to collect all of the EXP. It was two for two, so, and they got the Invoker. Oh, way too. Sunstrike yeah, comes down. 
so much damage. Oh. He needs a crit though. Okay. What the kinetic field didn't trap it. Oh, oh that's okay. gonna hit tower. Okay. Okay. Does he actually spawn there? Oh, watch okay. Watch. What? Yeah, I never understood that. Oh, oh. Okay. Meanwhile, trees are coming. Wait, Wait, one help. Off the tree and got the kill. Attack. Yeah. TC's gonna get stunned as well. He's gonna get another fire remnant. He's gonna have to go to it. Ice blast. Are we gonna? It's coming. It's coming. Sun strike. Yeah, it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Radiance bottom tower Schneid. has fallen. What a play. That's the boss would say. Schneid. I, I think whenever Liquid is trying to make those blink ganks, at best they come out even. Like if, if they do it really fast, they could get maybe one extra kill. But oh, meanwhile though, they're gonna just be eating gank all day like this. Yeah, yeah. Quick, so he's gonna get feed script under the tower. Oh. No one is here to help. Bata's even got his blink dagger now. His blinks forward, throws some casual auto attacks. Reinitiation though, coming out of Liquid. Really nice stun. Still managed to get the burrow strike off after the fact. Bata though goes down to the double edge. It's a two for one trade. And we'll we have one to get somebody misery though. Glimpse into the kinetic field. Nice steering chase as well coming out from TC after the slight fist. Sprout on TC as well. He's under the river. He's under the effects of Ice Blast, so he's gonna be dropping way too though. On the high ground, still looking pretty safe. TC didn't have any remnants. Remnants to get Rem Remnants. Remnants. Renaissance. Renaissance, yeah, we nice. got Renaissance. Yeah, he threw like all his Radiance Renaissance. Man, Hoss is rich! Attack. Yeah, he, he had 2,000 gold. He's 4, 1, and 2. Should have got Midas. I don't know what he's getting right now. You're obsessed going with eggs. Midas. Dude. But the thing is, if you get a Midas, that's half an Ags. Yeah, that's fine. But you're, you're not, not going to be able to see Mac quick. Yeah. And then you also get that. But Ags level Mac 2 quick. ulti with Ags is better than a level 16 ulti without Ags. i just saying that you just get more gold. That's just better. <laughs> get money, get levels, man. And then everything else. Get money. Get, that's some EE -E Dota right there, man. Just get levels, get money. That reliable gold, don't forget. It's true. It's pretty good, actually, on a support hero. You and see, plus, see. when people casually walk by you in the jungle on your team and you're, like, annoyed, you can just Midas the creep because it doesn't share experience with anybody. Yeah, Go sure. away. Yeah. My creep. I don't think anyone else does that, Andy. I see. I feel that Andy have done that a lot. <laughs> I've done it many times. <laughs> Listen, when you play games with people and they intentionally steal your stacks, you play greedy, okay? Uh, mid lane here, they're gonna Radiant's go in for the bane. They want misery to hit even the doom span on it. But Ice Blast looks like it's not gonna hit on either. But that, oh, the sun on the mid lane though. They are gonna get TC. Sunstrike, ooh, where are you way to? You gotta tank it with them. <laughs> Hold the sun. Well, I mean, he can't see the beam. Man, you just hug. You can smell the beam. You just assume it's coming, right? Yeah, you, just like... I mean, you get stunned. You assume everything is coming. Come closer for warmth. But I think this game is uh, getting a little bit out of control. Liquid's still maintaining some kind of um, farm relevancy between the uh, Doom and the Sapphire. But Look. everyone else is kind of falling super far behind. Look yeah. at TC. He's passes ahead of him. Yeah, that's what I was talking about yes. earlier. It's like he's, he's maintaining relatively a net worth of a support on Team Dog, which is definitely not where you want to be. And because of the fact that he didn't go flame guard, oh. he's relying on pretty much his oh, damage. Bubba though gonna get caught out top lane. Pycat might be going down here. He actually tried to TP inside of the static storm. Pass gonna connect oh, with please. one right there on the LT. Gets on the back on two more. Misery runs and drops a ward attack. and thinks better. Pycat, please. I guess he's still at Glimpse, right? That's why he tried to TP there. Yeah. I mean, you're not walking out of that one. Oh. Meanwhile, the French is disconnected. They, that was some Radiant serious time. They retreated out of the game. <laughs> uh, Got him. Sorry, haven't the French won more wars than like anyone else in the world? Probably. They have. They actually. Because they. Oh, Bane's grip. TC top lane sunstrike. Just, just. Well done. That. I think. Dyer's top tower. Two is kills under ago. Attack. What Tisha should have done is just say, "Screw farming, carry. We're gonna just gank for days." Because you're, you're not going to get farmed. I, I think Radiant's you're going to lose more gold trying to farm. Under attack. Yeah. How do you gank with... He's got no. 28 Ember, kills, Ember man. Ember Spam's a great ganker. Yeah, but he needs like a drum or something. No, he you has... don't. You have Centaur setting and things over here. You just go Renaissance in. Drop your chains and just go to work. <laughs> yeah, now your Sankey has a blink too. Look, the gankers for the team are getting rich and the farmers are getting ganked all day because there's a global on the other side. All right. I think it's still going to be a tall order regardless because he's going to have to sit so far away because of the Blink Wraith King. 
And because when you slight a fist, depending on how many targets you hit, if you already have a blink, you can just blink in to where his remnant is, Radiant and then just stun him. And because attack. of the fact that you can't have two out at the same time, if you're going to be trying to like go in and then go out, because it will just go to the last one and you won't be able to slight a fist between, it's really hard to actually get out in time if he's just spamming on you. No, I'm, I'm not saying he's going to go into the ganks and become bridge suddenly. I, I, he's going to also die in these ganks. But I'm just saying he's going to be Radiant's having a higher chance of getting rich. Attack. Yeah, but maybe. Maybe you, you go into a gank and then, you know, there's a big fight going on. You come out with three kills and you're the only person surviving. You know, that can happen. Radiant's top tower <laughs> that sounds has pretty fallen. good. I wish that could happen in all my Dota games. Or you could just go top lane as Axe and spin four times in one second and kill everyone. Andy showed me this, uh, <laughs> the thing, it was ridiculous. It's such a game, dude. Such a game. I wish I was that lucky. The funny thing is, like, I'm usually not. Usually just I would look like a, a dummy and I would just fall over and be like, man, that sucked. But RNG just smiled on me today. All right, so you go, uh, Quirkfa has 2,200 gold. Is he getting a blink there? It's pretty good with the centaur. He has stomp, so yeah, yeah exactly. I'm, I'm kind of assuming maybe he does. I still would think that a mech or a pipe is probably better, but I guess Bulba would be making the pipe on this team. I think yeah. I think you want a mech. I think you really want a mech. But you can buy it now, like. Looks like it's hard to, to justify the mech though because, like, Paws Ice Blasts have been pretty much on point, yeah. right? And if you have to wait. Like for the duration of that ulti to fade before you mech, I think the fight might just already be lost. And I know that's kind of waiting a lot of your decision making on just performance from the other team. But at this level, you kind of just have to assume that he's going to hit him, right? Yeah. I mean, we haven't seen like full scale 5v5 team fight yet. So even though like one or two members of your team is not getting the mech, a mech's still a mech. Like the armor is still nice. Yeah. The burst heal for the rest of your team is still nice. So I don't think you can turn down the mech. We saw Mag's mech yesterday. One game, so. Yeah. Best, best Doom in the world. Best Doom in the world. Lost his lane, but best Doom in the world. Yep. I think that's kind of Doom's MO, though. It's like lose lane, transition into make a billion dollars, and then just win. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you look at Vi Liquid Vision right now, they, they have none. They have one more behind the enemy tower. They don't see this Roshan going on, so that's why they're just mad scared. They can't do absolutely anything. Actually, they don't even see Misery TPing in, because he's TPing with the smoke. How next level is this? When Dyer's the dog gets two Necro 3s, attack. which they pretty Dyer's much have, structures are what can, like, what can Liquid do? I don't think there's much they can do. Like, you, you, your Doom could actually eat oh, one Necro. Oh, Fata. Way too, he's in the back. No. He's gonna get going on. The Nature's Prop only was there as well. Fata just gets the kill. The Nature's Wrath at him as well. Are they gonna deny the tower, though? And we'll get him more hit. Three turns around. He is gonna deny. And they're gonna be able to initiate here on MSS. The stop comes out for Bobo, but he gets the inscript before he can really finish the job. Here comes the Blink Epicenter on three. Burst Strike hitting three as well. Misery gonna be dropping here quite soon. The Sentry drop, though, and he's able to get the Brain Sap off to keep himself alive. I think they keep going there, Blink. Oh, what a dodge. No, he didn't dodge it. No, the chain. Oh, the sun strike. I thought he dodged that for sure. I guess the travel time is pretty wonky. Yeah, dude. it is really, really slow. I, I just want to say that, like, if Demon was level 11, they win that fight. Because that uh, epicenter almost killed everybody on the back line. Yeah. Uh, and of course, if uh, Bobo was able to... Did I call him way too again? Yeah. She probably did. Why do I keep calling him way too? I don't know, man. Maybe he's so sexy. No, I mean, way too disruptor, but Demon Sand King. I'm just so not used to, like... Radiant's top tower is under it's attack. It's the name, because he doesn't have his name it's on it. It's my brain. It's just like not... Fortified. It's not doing it. Yeah, I, there's no way Liquid could fight this tier 2 tower. They want to, though. They have, they don't have Epi. They don't have Epi. I don't know about this Burrow Shark that's going to hit on 2. The Doom's going to go on the MSS. And my god, they are going to fight him. Misery's going to get focused. The trap is going to be in there. Misery also dead. Fata. Yeah, he's going to be the Ice Blast is going to be on everybody. Koifa drops. And so will the rest of team. Oh no, TC, where are you going, dude? Does he have a TP out? He needs a Renaissance out as well. Oh, the Static Storm that's going to hit on everybody. Fata. More flink. <laughs> Static Storm as well as Cosmic Finale doing the deeps. Well, okay, how did they win that fight? Demon's level 11 now. <laughs> yeah. Well, Demon went in, got a double burrow, and then they got the Searing Chains on two heroes in the Static Storm. So that damage output is ridiculous, and because the longer the Static Storm's down, the more damage it does, he caught it like at the end, and all of a sudden Demon just has like 3,000 gold. Veil, vale? yeah. Like just casual 3k, no big deal. Let's see what he's gonna get. Is it gonna be a. Uh... Ags or Veil? Vale? Oh. I think Veil does more damage than I. No, Veil vale definitely does vale more damage. Veil does more damage. You want HP this game yeah, for sure. Yeah, because if you get AA ulted, 
you just get hit by like anything, you kind of just go splat. Yeah, I think this is actually a, a great game to say that this is the game to go. That was a big fight though. Yeah. It's huge. I mean, it looked bad in the sense that they didn't have any of their ults. And the previous fights, they fought with their ults and lost. But I guess positioning is everything, right? Yeah. And just cleaned up and their tier two is protected. But that's what I was talking about earlier as well. It's like, even though they weren't doing that great in the laning phase, they have the kind of a team where their fighting potential is just through the roof. Between Static Storm, Epicenter, Stampede, they can force engagements quite often. Like normally you would say teams like that are ulti-centric and they kind of have like long cooldowns, but really they don't, at least not these ultis. So at any point in time, if they're able to get like initiation like that and they can get a Doom off on MSS, and they can get like an epicenter on a couple heroes, they think they're gonna be in pretty good shape. If you think about it, they have War Stump, which is like a two second stun. They have Hoof Stump, which is another like three second stun. They have Burrow Strike. They have Searing Chains. Searing Chains. This well, Searing Chains isn't really a stun. It's an ensnare. Right? No. It's, it's worked the same way as Overgrowth, basically. Yeah. But like, there's so much lockdown. So if they catch people out of position, you're not going anywhere, like. Where are you going? Nowhere. You going nowhere. Get back here, motherfucker. <laughs> What a movie. What a movie. So, Liquid now maintaining at least some semblance of map control. Against a team like Dog, where they have that global presence, it's actually kind of surprising that Liquid even have this much of the map to farm at 22 minutes in, given how well Dog did during the early game. Yeah. And of course, Dog are still ahead. It's not to say that... Uh, are. I mean, they get three Midas's, so... I mean, you know what you do against this, right? You just go to 200 minutes, and then you win the game. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Dog. I'm, I'm ready. Look. Game two for today, it's free. Yeah. Dude, in that we game, Aeris Loco bought three rapiers on Ember Spirit. Look, man. He had a spare oh, rapier. Forward. Fata, what a blink reaction by Demon. What a player. He's got wings, man. I think he's sandstormed as well. He also has Aghanims. Yeah, he did. In 10, 20 gold. Aghanims level two old me. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Better than a level three ult, man. The one thing that I'm kind of worried about, though, is that there's going to be Necro books everywhere. And I think that's another reason why you buy the Aghanims, because if you get Ice Blasted and you kill like one Necro book and you don't have an Ax, you just die. I mean, he, he's definitely dying. Like, he, he epicenters, he if, blinks in, and he burrows, and he's just dead, right? Yeah. If he kills Radiance the book, I think, if he's under, under the effects attack. of Aeolth, yeah, I think he just dies. Radiance Courier. It's for honor Radiance and glory, though. Yeah, it's true. Has fallen. But uh, Dog are going to secure the safe lane. Tower for free, pretty much. And also, they lost the Courier, but here comes the Smoke Gank. The good old wraparound. The Team around. fire, man. Oh. Here we go. Fata is going to get some immediate blink. I will destroy him, but oh, Static Storm that's going to Epicenter being carried. It's going to be a stun, Jimmy. No, oh. Jimmy gets <laughs> nothing. Ice Blast going to come in. Liquid Boba is just dead straight up. Fata, he's in a front line, but he doesn't care because he's the king. Sprout on the back line here from PyCat. They're going to get way too in a couple more records. He TPs out. Unfortunately, Koifa does not have that TP, and they lose that fight. That should have been a one fight, man. Oh, boy. Or at least it should not I, be. I think that was. I think it was over here. Oh, okay. Oh, the crits. The crits. Got the Renaissance, though. Regeneration. I think. <laughs> wow. What? Oh, what a sun strike. Middle tower is this under guy. Attack. He even tried to juke it. Yeah, yeah. He was like, I'm going to juke this sun strike. And then they cued the Benny Hill music, and MSS was like, nah. Not today, motherfucker. No, definitely not. So, I think when you see fallen. one hero get caught, maybe Demon assumed that there were more caught in the kinetic field. Yeah. Because you can't see uphill, Radiance right? But you can see at least one is caught, attack. and you knew you were being chased by at least two or three people. So maybe he assumed that it was a really good kinetic field, that he should just follow it. Mm -hmm. But then even at that point, he kind of went into the trees. Radiance so, I mean, middle tower is under attack. Yeah, I mean, he, he stayed in the trees. He did. But he it was, stayed in the trees until he was dead. Radiance it wasn't much of a forest, though. It was kind of like a little patch. Yeah. And he definitely went for the Gusto player, right? Like, he could have got the save one man Burrow Strike. You gotta go big, I mean, man. if he's assuming three heroes are caught in that, then it's still okay, in my opinion. Like, if, if the if I eat those. the last person actually got caught, I think it was okay. But they're gonna get um, Rax for this. It's a range Rax, but a Rax makes it, like, so the lane pushes all the time. Still not good. And here comes that Axe after a finisher in AA. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's pretty scary. Level I love how you just screamed Jimmy no as soon as he went into the trees. I was like, <laughs> I mean, I have to try and control myself laughing sometimes with some of the stuff you come up with. It's hilarious. I was a fan. Why couldn't I see what item he bought? It just got cut off. Yeah. It was a Maelstrom. Mjolnir? Or Mjolnir? Or Mjolnir, yeah. Yeah. 
casual full Mjolnir on Fata. That's one thing too that's going to be a really big problem now for Liquid, is that there's so many different abilities that just do damage over time. That Mjolnir is going to be going like ham, yeah. basically, as soon as you activate it on yourself. If you attack Centaur, does the return proc your Mjolnir? Yes, all does. damage does. Yeah. Oh, baby. It's like all magic damage, return damage, blade mail damage, everything. Fiery, burny damage. Actually, I don't know if blade mail damage does. Blade mail's pure. Yeah. Which well, no, that does. That does. It does. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh shit! I think that's when you just take your hands off your keyboard and you're like, I don't know what to do about that. Because when you can't farm a creep wave at full HP. No, 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 no. You have to farm vigilantly. You have to like dance around while farming. And the the thing is, he can't even use his fire. Shield Radiance or flame guard because it's attack. pure damage from the sunstrike anyway. Well, he would mitigate the damage from the Radiance initial ice blast, which actually fallen. probably would have kept him alive. Yeah, he only has a, like 900 life. Oh, Mata like comes in and Boba, he's a centaur here. Ice blast, ice blast. Walks out of there. Radiance top tower is under attack. Man, I'm really impressed with the sunstrikes this game. Yeah. As a man who personally cannot land a sunstrike to save his freaking life. Which Dude, is me. Koifa needs to walk in and just eat one of those Necro Minions. You take 600 pair, but what else? It's CS cooldown on Devour. His belly's full, man. He's not hungry right now. All right. I'm back in a bit. I have indigestion. Oh, what a sprout. They scout him. Oh. Fata just goes Wait, in, Radiance but he doesn't have vision. Okay. So Fata's trapped. Uh, he's ground. Yeah, but it's fine. Doesn't really matter. Top he just tower mule has fallen. <laughs> Maybe they want to go in. There's like a rave on the forest there. <laughs> Wait, is he peeing out? They're gonna back. Oh, Roshan's up. Okay. Dude, this is where you go as five man, and you make the biggest play of your life. Five man side is going, five man epi. Oh no, oh. way too. Way oh too. Oh my god. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's... Where, where are you going? No pipe. 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 Okay. If this duration attack. of the AA will be right. longer than the pipe though. <laughs> It's gonna be pretty darn close. Yeah. He's, he's fine. No, he's not. He's dead. He's fine. He's dead. It's only level two ult. I he's think all, he's fine. He's, uh, he's grand. He's no, fine. Yeah. Has fallen to the dire. I mean, that's close. That's living life on the edge. If that was a level three ice blast, Immortality. I think he would have died. If he got that Midas? Just saying. <laughs> Wait, what? If he got the Midas, he would be level 16, and then he would have died. You're saying he would have had four more levels because of the Midas? Yeah. That's what Midas do? I don't think so, man. Oh, he has Necro Book to. Oh. oh. Oh my god. Okay. He's out of there. That sun trick was gonna hit him as well. MSS has got like some some serious sun striking skills, man. That's why he usually plays off lane, but now he mid. Well, I don't understand. I mean I've I've heard from pro players that it's actually easier to anticipate pros than it is like like average pub players because they don't have any like method to their movement. Yeah. Oh, but a pro would like intentionally try it. Way too. Okay. Yeah, Way too doing the dance. This is See, how See, that's the form. that's the reasoning. Yeah. Like right there, it's because Way too is just like doing whatever. Yeah. And that's harder to anticipate than a pro who would like think in a specific way, right? Okay, that slash. <laughs> that chain. <laughs> you waited, bro. Oh, oh. Centaurity. They're gonna go in. They want to go on pause. Centaurity's gonna top. be there. The double edge and the epicenter. Demon is dropping everything. He first strikes into a BKB to MSS. Koikva getting fiend script inside of the base. Doesn't even get to use Doom. And now the rest of Liquid are on full retreat right now. The sun strike coming down. Gonna hit on Bulba. He calls GG. And Dog take a pretty convincing, uh, pretty convincing win over Team Liquid. Dire victory. Game even ended before. This lineup seems to work for everybody. Like VP played it, and it, it happened the exact same way. Okay, sample size two. <laughs> Just keep it like that. Yeah, 100% win rate. 100% win rate. Well, you don't want to like play more games with those heroes. I think it's fun to watch. Yeah, it's it definitely really fun. And the thing that impressed me about this game is they actually went offensive trialing with it. Yeah. Uh, and they.